motion is to approve the purchase of a 2017 Ford 250 from Malahi Ford and Arroyo Grande at the cost of $35,264.42 and authorize the general manager to enter into agreement with Malahi Ford to purchase the truck and also to approve resolution 22-2017. Um, authorizing the execution and delivery of a lease purchase agreement with Ford Motor Credit Company to finance the purchase over four years at the annual interest rate of 4.95 and authorize direct and certain actions in connection with the acquisition of the truck. Just briefly on the fiscal impact, the lease purchase agreement with the Ford Motor Credit Company is for four years with an annual interest rate of 4.95%. Uh, and annual payments of $9,611.48. The Water Department budget for current fiscal year 1617 includes $3,147 to cover the payments of the May and June for this fiscal year. The actual cost absorbed in this year on the, on the $9,611 payment will be $1,602. So no further budget action is required for the fiscal year. $9,611 will be included in the Water Department budget for the next four years to finance the purchase of the truck. A brief description is the current Water Department truck used by Water Supervisor is a 2003 Ford F350 4x4 with a utility bed and has 1,000, or the time of the writing of this report, 1,400, 1,000, 143,000, what is me with dates and numbers today? 143,544 miles on the odometer. It is vital to the Water Department's operation because it is the only four-wheel drive truck in the Water Department and a four-wheel drive vehicle is required to transverse the well fields and the Fiscalini tank area in rainy months. It is the only the, it was only the one-ton truck for the Department, so it is also a go-to vehicle for carrying heavy loads. The overall condition of the body and the interior is good for a 14-year-old truck. However, the engine is in bad shape. The heads are warped, which is causing significant oil leak, and the alt alternator in both batteries also need to be replaced. The batteries need to be charged about 45 minutes each morning before the truck will start, but staff has deferred replacement anticipation of the purchase of the new truck. In accordance with district purchasing policy, three bids, which are attached, were obtained from the new truck and the following results. The first bid came in at, uh, from Malahi Ford was $35,264. Rancho Grande Motors was $38,093. And that's where I bought my new car, so maybe I should go to Malahi Ford. And Perry Ford was $42,548. So again, the, the uh, staff is recommending that we do with the Malahi Ford uh, purchase a purchase lease agreement. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Director Thompson. I'm just amazed that there's a $7,000 difference uh, in the low bid to the high bid um, for the same vehicle. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they're not identical vehicles because we go to the uh, vendor and we say this is the kind of truck we want, so they come back and say, okay, this is what we can provide. So there may be slight differences, but basically they all meet the same requirements. Okay. Good job. Director Barron. I move that we approve the purchase of the 2017 Ford F-250 and approve the attached resolution 22-2017. Second the motion. Moved by Director Berenger and seconded it. But seconded it. That's getting late in the day. By Vice President Sanders. Um, under discussion, um, I appreciate the general manager bringing this to the board and it, and it gives me an opportunity to kind of speak to the, um, the issue relating to policy versus, versus operations. I don't want to have to approve everything that comes through here, but there's also a 4.95% interest rate when we have some Granted, we're way more cash poor than we used to be, but we have some money in the bank, and that's a policy issue whether or not we essentially loan ourselves money to purchase vehicles and then make, create a sinking fund or not, and, and whether or not 
it, it's not possible to me. I don't think it's possible that there's only one other truck in the in the water department. This is not the only truck. The 2003 that's being replaced is not the only truck in the water department, is it? So, um, what I think that the board, in 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 my reading of policy versus operations, that the board should be can, should be able to look at the overall picture of how many trucks do we have. How new are they and when are we going to have to replace them because this ad hoc replacing rather than knowing ahead of time, it makes it difficult to do budgeting in a way that's proactive rather than just reactive when something is falling apart. I don't, I, just looking at the budget, there are, there are at least two and a half vehicles in the in the facilities department, and I think that's the number of people that are in that department. I think there's five in wastewater looking at the budget. So there's there's a lot of vehicles here. It would be good to know what we're looking at in terms of the bigger picture, because I don't think that the board or the general manager really wants to be approving every single purchase of a vehicle. But I think we do need to know over the long haul what we're, no pun intended, uh, over the long haul, what we're looking at in terms of replacement, because there could be three other trucks in the water department that'll need to be replaced next year, but I have no idea of what that, what that big picture looks like, and that's what I'm hoping that we can get to maybe, maybe the latter part of this year is to looking at how do, we, how do we do these things in a more proactive way rather than reactive when we need to replace a, a vehicle, because I really don't want to have to approve every single time that, especially if not if we have a big fleet. But I do want to have a say about whether we buy hybrid vehicles or American-made versus Director Berenger. Uh, Madam President, I agree with you 90%. And I think that um, one of the issues, the, ad, uh, the infrastructure ad hoc is trying to bite this giant elephant and there's ways to do it. And so I, I wouldn't want the, in, uh, the water or wastewater committees to be burdened with that kind of a decision. I think for the finance committee to consider that in the future, but that's an elephant that's, I think, down, down you know, near the end of this beginning of next calendar year, I think would be a good time to address that. And Madam President, can I? Fiscal year, you mean, or calendar? I, I'm thinking calendar. Calendar. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Before the following fiscal year, perhaps. Yes, sir. Um, at your request, after the last meeting, I went and put together a, a brief spreadsheet that I'm going to present during the budget presentation that uh, covers a vehicle replacement fund uh, look quick look at. And so we could, I, I could bring it up now, we could talk about it, or we could do it during the budget presentation. We can do it during the budget presentation. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to take the opportunity because this is, this is exactly the kind of thing that we don't need to be taking up time in a board meeting to do every time it needs to happen. It's something that the general manager should have general guidelines about what, what it is that we expect to be done in terms of the maintenance and replacement of vehicles. You know, it's not whether we have a sinking fund or we continue to get loans or we loan ourselves money or all policy decisions this board will have to make once we get past this. They're not to be made on this item but in future to, so that we don't have to have this again, hopefully. Is everyone, does anybody have any questions about what, how my view of, it, of this particular, because I, I want to make sure that I've, I feel like I've jumped forward a couple of, a couple of paces and, and I haven't had a conversation with the rest of the board members, so I want to make sure that everybody's clear and that I'm not misunderstanding what, what you all are thinking either. It happened. Madam President. <laughs> yes. This Mr. particular Cooper. this particular purchase was an anomaly. It's probably best to my recollection. Rec recollection. This is the only time that we've um, come on the eleventh hour for a okay. vehicle purchase. So when we go over the budget uh, budget today, it really comes down to you know two decisions from a policy uh, standpoint. You you have a sinking fund or you have a vehicle replacement program. Uh, fund uh, based on the analysis that that we did you'll 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 see that we're in pretty much the same situation that we are with the, the CIP from the water and wastewater is that it, it'll alloc it'll require a, a lot of money up front to implement the way we're doing things now seem to work but I do agree with you that it, it is a policy decision on how you want us to continue uh, to fund vehicles for 
uh, for the department, uh, for different departments. In the utility business, the v a vehicle or a reliable vehicle, just like in law enforcement or public safety, is the most important tool that a that an individual can have. So having good, reliable, um, relatively new vehicles with a replacement program in place um, is important because uh, without without a good vehicle, uh, we, we can't really ask our staff to to do you know to do their job. So you know it's 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 either way. It, we've been successful in absorbing the cost of the vehicles within the individual departments uh, and within indiv individual line items, and it's worked so far. But you do bring up some good points and. Director Thompson. Uh, yes, President Rice. I, I agree with you in the macro sense that uh, uh, normally something like this shouldn't shouldn't come before us. I, I think it makes sense, but I think what uh, what it does sometimes is uh, is spark a little bit of thought discussion about uh, a the fact that when we uh, purchased a fire engine, we um, relied upon or we looked at whether or not we could tie into another. Um, where was the chief? L.A. Uh, County's uh, 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 proposal so that perhaps we get a better deal. Mm -hmm. And uh, when, when we look and see that there's $7,000 disparity between the, the high and the low, maybe there's another way that we can go forward with uh, uh, hooking up with someone else in terms of vehicle purchase to get an even better deal. So it's just, like I said, just food for thought. Uh, very good, very good point. I would I would move approval of we did oh yes we did caught it is getting late okay 330 we need to we need to keep, get going because now we're gonna be on the hard one moved and seconded let's call the roll please director, director Banger aye vice president Sanders aye director farmer aye director S Thompson I, I do support. I was just hoping that maybe at some point in time, Director Berenger will let someone else make a motion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, the next item, I might give you a chance. <laughs> President Rice. Aye. 